Hello there guys, welcome to the channel where today we are talking about two very similar people, but two different worlds. These two are Darth Vader and Commander Bly. We talk about how Vader used the cunning and loyalty of Bly, the clone who was closest to a droid than any other clone in comparison. He was unrelentingly loyal to the Republic when he served under Aayla Sakura. He very much appreciated her and her commitment to her orders. Both of them would go to the very end in order to complete their tasks and that's how Bly came to appreciate his general. That's why when Order 66 came he was extremely reluctant to execute Sakura. That's how tough it was for the clone who was known for not hesitating in battle and precise commands. In the end, yes, he did kill Ayla Sakura after Order 66 was executed together with his battalion but it is explained that he chose to end her quickly and painlessly. In order not to make her suffer, they made sure to confirm her death and not let her anguish before she dies. This is the level that Bly went to just to complete his mission. He did something that went against his own emotions and this is exactly what Vader needed after Order 66 and after the Empire was formed. Immediately after the Emperor took control of the known galaxy, now Vader was to be his enforcer. But the unknown truth is that actually Vader needed his enforcers too. Commanders that would roam the planets that are resisting the Empire and put an end to their hesitation and that's where Commander Bly came in. His expertise and dedication was a luxury that Vader was keen on having by his side, especially since a lot of Jedi survived Order 66. Darth Vader desperately needed all the help he could get, although he couldn't admit that of course, but this is where Bly comes in. After killing Sakura, to Bly's frustration, three Padawans, Zonder, Ikria, and Logan escaped, leaving the commander with yet another incomplete mission on his record. This made Bly furious, and to capitalize on his anger, Vader tasked him with finding these Padawans by any means necessary. Only two though, Logan and Ikria, since Vader had executed Zonder very recently. Only two remained that Bly had to find. Naturally, the clone commander wasted no time and actually locating them and once Vader appeared as well it seemed to be over. Bly and the others shot Akria where it seemed that she supposedly died and once they cornered Logan as well Vader subdued him too impaling him with his lightsaber as he plunged to his supposed death. Although later it was revealed that both Akria and Logan survived. But whatever in any case once this mission was done Vader turned to Bly and congratulated the clone commander for an excellent job. His mission that once was not done now was finally finished and that made Vader proud. That was enough for Bly who was in Vader's good graces for now. Unfortunately we never got to see or hear what happened to Bly after this but one story we have about him after Order 66 we see that he still was really capable under Vader's command same as he was under the Jedi. What do you guys think of this Vader Bly? team up hunting down Padawans. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget to check out my new Insta page. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and hit that bell to get notified the moment a video is up, guys. Have an awesome day, my friends, and may the force be with you always.